Hello everybody, this is Pun Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to talk about VST plugins and how you can use them with Voice Over the Banana to get a uh, nice sounding microphone uh, signal or audio, uh, actually add some audio effects that you can use to change your voice around a little bit. So I've just uh, did some experimentation, I've downloaded three plugins, uh, but there's a ton of plugins that you can download for free but I want to show you how to set these up so that you can add your own effects chains and you can kind of play around and try to get some custom sounds for your microphone or even just make your your microphone sound that much better so right now all you're hearing with my microphone is you are hearing a uh, just open mic going straight into OBS um, I'm not feeding it through voice meter or anything, but the voice, the programs you're going to need, okay, and let me switch over here. But the programs you're going to need is you're going to need voice meter banana, which if you go to voicemeter.com or go to uh, click on the banana tab once you get to VB Audio's website and do the download there, you can donate. Um, you can download for free, try it out. If it works for good for you, then you can go back and donate some money. You're going to need voice meter banana. And then you're going to need Contably. Okay, so Contably, uh, dot, Contably and you can get their free VST host. You can download the light version for free. It doesn't cost you a dime. So you're going to need that right there. And then, so the key with Contably is getting VST plugins. So once again, let me bring this back up because I've got the ones that I have downloaded. So the first one, and I'm going to provide the links to all these down in the comments. But this first one is called Protoverb, and it's simply a reverb pedal. It's all it is, reverb effect. Gives you all kinds of different uh, presets. Um, you can manually change it. Um, this is a free version, so um, there is a, I don't think it has full functionality. It may, but uh, you know, it gives you everything you need really to give you a good reverb sound. Because you don't really, you don't really need a lot of reverb for just normal voice stuff if you're doing commentaries if you're singing you want more reverb but uh you can you can do that you have full control of these three knobs here another free plug-in that you're going to need to get is this one right here which i've actually gone to a website right here and you can download this live voice changer and this is a this is also auto tuner it's also an auto tuner so you can download a free edition and it gives you uh, auto tuning capability. It gives you the ability to do pitch uh, shifting of your voice. You can add gain control to your voice, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of functionality. There is some stuff that's locked out because of, uh, you know, you need to get a full version to do that for 29 pounds, or I think it's probably close to 40 or 50 bucks. But anyway, so you can, but you can get the free version of this. And this comes highly recommended. Pretty much everybody's saying that this is the number one uh, VST plugin for. Uh, for auto tune so get that and then let's see let's find uh so the first one i am going to use is this program called loud max and it's a limiter so uh and it's basically a compressor it's it's, it's, it's limiting you know audio by and also adding gain at the same time it's really simple to use um, so you can use this and get the download and you can get the 32-bit. I'd recommend doing 64-bit. I'm using all 64-bit. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to go into voice meter, okay? And you need to go to system settings and options. And when you go down there, there's these two, these patch inserts, okay? Now these are your ACO for your ACO inputs. And what they are are a chain that connects between the input of your channel here and the fader. So this the, this little square that you see at the bottom would represent the fader of that channel. And this little input at the top would represent the input coming into the board for this channel. Okay, so this is this is like a, an effects chain between the, the post fade. Okay, so this is pre-fade chain effect that you put you know, once it's coming, once it comes into voice meter and uh, you're able to add effects to it before you can, uh, you know, before it goes into post fade. So that's, that's kind of how it works. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to think about, okay, so I'm chaining these effects together. Okay. So they're going to be connecting to each other and that's kind of how we do it in Contably. So 
just remember that you have this for all your channels here. So N1 is hardware channel 1, N2 is hardware channel 2, N3 hardware channel 3, likewise, and you have, you know, all these channels. So I'm going to use N1, that's where my microphone's at. So I'm going to turn those on, simply by all you have to do is click them. And one is stereo, or stereo, left and right, so um, you can click on them and you get stereo. Now if you noticed that my signal in my microphone went away on voice meter, and that is because there is nothing right now in the chain to connect, so it's a broken signal right now. So that's where that's why the microphone isn't showing up in the VU meter. All right, so we need to fix that. Okay, so when you download Contably and install it, okay, you're going to end up with this uh, interface right here. This 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 uh, user interface. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, you get in Contably installed. This is what you're going to have when you start your program up. Uh, so you have this UI. What you're going to need to do is you got to get this thing set up so it can talk to voice meter. Okay. So go to options and go to audio engine. And then make sure that the audio driver is set to ASIO or ASIO, voice meter insert virtual ASIO. Okay, make sure that's checked. Everything else should, should be okay. You shouldn't have to mess with anything. Should be fine. The second thing you're going to do is you want to go to audio ports because now you need to let voice me or let Contably know what inserts you want to want it to use. So I've gone in and I've named this microphone. Okay. I'm going to delete these just to show you how to do this. So all you need to do is go to add and you can set a stereo input port. Let's call it microphone. Okay. Let's also add an output. We'll call it microphone out. Alright, so then it's just a matter of going in and setting your channels. So uh, you have all your choices here for all of your stuff that you saw down in voice meter. I'm using N number one, so I want to do N number one left and say OK and do the same thing for right. Just right click on right, hit add, and go down and choose right, hit add, do the same thing for the microphone out, hit the add key, select left, which is good, and go to right, hit add, select in one right, and we should be good. All right. So now you have, as you see, now you have an input with the microphone at the top. But you see the output's not working. It's because I still have to chain everything together here. All right. So now this is where it gets important because now you need to get options. And you need to look for your plugin. So go to plugin options. And you need to point contably to the folder where your plugins are going to be at. And likewise, set your preset and banks. I set it for the same folder. Um, so once you do that, then you should be able to go to tools again, scan plugin folders. When you hit that, it's going to scan and look for all the plugins, and then it'll list them. It'll put it in a list so that you can then just select them. So now it's time to add them into the chain. Now I have the input coming into voice meter. So now I'm going to add the first effect. So let's go to the object. We're going to select the plugin. First one I'm going to select and uh, I'm going to select this auto tuner. Okay, so I'm going to put the auto tuner down. All right. All right, so now that we have the auto tuner installed, we need to link the microphone and the auto tuner together. So this will be the first piece of the chain. So we'll go to preset destination here. We're going to click beside the mic in. And here you can choose a target. So we'll choose the auto tuner stereo in. Okay, so that's what we're going to be sending the microphone into. When you do that, then you'll see now the VU meter for the auto tuner is now updated, which means it's receiving the signal, which is good. What we want. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go and add our next object. Next object will be another uh, plugin. So now I'm going to add this proto reverb pedal, okay, or plugin. 
And likewise, same thing, we need to set a target. So first of all, let's add a route, and we're going to do a stereo out. And then that's going to go now to the input for the proto reverb. So now you see the proto reverb now up there, okay? Which is awesome. That's what we want. Okay, so now well, let's go and add our third object. And this will be the last plugin that I'm going to add. So we'll go to plugin, and then we're going to add this loud max, which is a limiter. All right, like guys, we need to now add a route to the proto reverb to stereo out. And then we can output to the loud max stereo input. All right, so now that the stereo input is being sent and we have these all linked together, you can now see that the limiter is now uh, getting a signal. So now we're not adding another object. Now we just need to add a route, and that's going to be stereo out. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're now going to go in, click on the target route, route target there, and we're going to output to the mic out. So now if I go and bring up a voice meter, you should now see this updating, whereas before it wasn't. Because now the chain is complete and it's now feeding back into the regular hardware channel, which I can now control up and down, which is totally awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and I am going to go ahead and send V2 and now I should be receiving this when I, what I'm going to do is I'm, you're hearing my microphone now. This is raw microphone with a little bit of the, of the compressor and stuff that's done strictly in OBS. That's what you're hearing right now. I'm getting ready to turn that off and switch over to what is now running through voice meter with the, uh, process, the presets added and those plugins. And you're going to hear, the difference and I'm not going to necessarily say it's going to sound better or worse but uh, you're going to hear what these plugins can do all right so uh, here we go so I'm going to mute this and now you should be hearing me let me turn this up a little bit so you can hear me better and you should now be hearing me in this now let me because uh, I want to listen to it here should be here myself yep there we go and you can hear the reverb you know that's the big thing that stands out uh you can hear it's almost like an echoey sound like i'm in a room uh, the good thing about that is you can go click on either one of these and you can actually change the way they sound so i can drop the wet sound a little bit and you can see a lot of that went away and uh you know i have this drier sound probably a little better for just normal voice you know uh it gives you that kind of little bit of a reverb effect but nothing crazy so I like that uh, so we'll play with that a little bit now the thing that a lot of people are gonna be interested in and it's something you've seen some of the bigger uh, streamers like darkness 429 do is they do a pitch change on their uh, voice so with this uh, autotune plugin it also has pitch shifting that you can go in and you got this little knob and I could change my voice like this and so, you know, when he does his booty touches, that's what it sounds like. So you just get a little booty touch. You know? uh, Likewise, you can change your voice down a little bit. You can make it kind of sound deeper and kind of demonic. Uh, it can get pretty crazy sounding, you know. And it, uh, it definitely has that kind of evil sounding voice, you know, kind of thing. You know, I'm not too crazy about it. But, you know, there's some people might want to talk demon in their, in their stream. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Uh... You know, so you can do that. This is also an auto tuner. So if you're a singer, okay, you can set this to a key, and you could do uh, full correction uh, to a key. And if you're singing a song in the key V, you know, you sing a track, uh, you can throw it in, and it'll lock in on all the notes that are in that key, so that you're singing it, uh, singing a song that you know goes along with a music track in that key. Um, it'll throw you in and out of the notes that you need to be in if you're a little off, so per se, which is which is pretty cool, and that's pretty much what it, all these professional singers are doing for studio tracks now. Very rarely, uh, they may even they may sing a flat track, and then the engineer might go back in and auto tune them correctly afterwards. But they are all using auto tuner, so that's what this little you know guy does now. Um, likewise with the uh, with the limiter. 
you can go in and uh, you can change your settings here and I can actually make myself louder uh, keep you it, it, it'll keep you from peeking out and causing distortion when you get too loud but you can also set gain and stuff too so it's almost like a single stage compressor we talked about it earlier where it does a bunch of those things in the background uh, whereas a multi-stage you can actually change each of the things all by themselves so it's pretty cool it works pretty well it's got a bunch of presets you can add um but yeah uh limiter and a and the uh reverb i think for a microphone are definitely two that you would want if you want to add a little fun effect and you know something like the auto tuner or a chorus or a flange or something like that you know you can play around do stuff with your voice um could work but i think this is nice it really is something that you can go and you can run through voice meter and get your get your microphone really sounding professional so when i go out there and give all this stuff a shot i think you'll like it a lot i, I think it'll really it'll really boost your microphone up and give it a good sound as uh you could tell i've adjusted everything and to my liking so i'm looking forward to continue using it but guys go out here uh, i'll provide all the links below uh, also, listen, look, I have uh, started a new Facebook page. Uh, if you go and uh, if you go to Facebook, do a search for the Frugal Streamer, make sure you go like the page. Uh, videos will be posting on there along with YouTube now. And uh, I hope to grow my YouTube, uh, grow my Facebook along with my YouTube. And if you've got any questions, you can hit me on there, message me there. DM me on Twitter at TFS underscore Punisher or at the Frugal Streamer. Or I'm sorry, at frugal underscore streamer. And, and uh, you can go and uh, hit me up there if you got any questions. I know this can be confusing and it's a little daunting. I do understand it. It took me a little while to get used to it myself. I'm not going to lie. But I hope that a little step-by-step -step, uh, walkthrough will help you out. And uh, you can eventually get used to using Contably along with Voice Meter to give you a nice professional sound on your microphone. All right, guys, this is Pun Frugal Streamer. We'll see you out there. Bye-bye.